That's my DJ Khaled voice. I couldn't tell. you guys know we are actually staying at a hotel right now I don't know why out of nowhere Derek just pops up with these crazy ideas and I just have to go with them you know so I, I must say I'm just kind of spoiled but anyways we ordered some room service I had them bring me a Bloody Mary except they forgot the hot sauce and they forgot my freaking olives what kind of Bloody Mary is this how could you forget my olives I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see a monthly favorites video and it's actually gonna be my first time I'm a God, this chair is like so, like it's so noisy. Do you guys hear that? I brought my bag of goodies. So um, I really didn't know that I was gonna be staying here tonight and I was planning on filming this video at my house, but Derek surprised me with this like hotel room. And here I am. So I literally grabbed all of the stuff that I've been using for the last like months that I have been loving so I can show them all to you. So first things first, I am a sucker for candles. I love candles. I literally just would have them ongoing. I would never turn them off. I would keep them on all day long if I could, but I've almost burned down my house one time, so let's just not even get into that story. But this one is one of my favorites. It's a Yankee candle, and it is um, Sea Breeze scented candle. I don't know what it is about these candles. It's almost like a linen meets like beachy type uh, scent, and I'm just so obsessed with it. And of course, my, this is my favorite color, you guys. If you don't know, now you know. I absolutely love turquoise. But anyways, oh, it just smells so good. What else do I have of my bag of goodies? I feel like I'm like going trick or treat. Trick or treat. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is my gloss now. I used to buy a lot of sunglasses before, and then I always lost them, or they would get stolen, or I would break them. So I kind of stopped buying sunglasses as much as I used to. But then before I went to Hawaii, I was like, I want to bring like a sunglass, like a pair of sunglasses for each day that I'm there to match every outfit. I know it's crazy and it sounds crazy, but I really, really love these glasses. So these are some sunglasses that I got. These are from my friend's boutique that I was telling you guys out of the blue. Um, if you guys want to, you guys can go check them out and I will link her Instagram and all of her information and her website in my description box down below. I do have a coupon code, it's Lisette15, I believe, if you guys want to go check out her stuff. All her stuff is like super affordable, inexpensive, and it's just the bomb. Um, next, I got these glasses. Actually, I didn't, Derek did, but they have been like my new faves. Check me out though. pretty bomb right anyways they're super cute I love these like style glasses I am obsessed so these have been my favorite but my all-time favorite glasses of the month have been my key sunglasses that I bought for Hawaii and I know you guys have seen a lot of pictures like this one right here so I bought these from key Australia and Look how fab these are. I have been loving these glasses. They have like that wood grain type look on the side that I absolutely love. And they have like a really, really cool like bright bluish, greenish tint to them. Have been loving these guys lately. So next I'm gonna be talking about some makeup products, of course. See what I got in here. I have been really obsessing over these Pro Conceals. Pro Conceals, Pro Conceal, LA Pro Conceal. What? LA Girl Pro Conceal. It's funny is when I first bought them, I actually bought them a while ago and I just never used them. And for some reason, I don't know, I just I couldn't get into it, especially the like actual concealer shade. Every time I put it on, it would kind of like crack on me a little bit. But I noticed when I use my beauty blender and not a brush, it goes on so much better and now I'm literally obsessed. So I've been highlighting with this one and doing my um, contour with this one. So this shade is the creamy beige, and the contour color is beautiful Beyonce. Just kidding, <laughs> beautiful bronze. Another product that I've been obsessing over is uh, my Clinique Pep Start. So I actually showed this one in my Snapchat the other day, and I actually had a few of you guys asking me about it. So it is just like a great way to start your morning, I guess you would say. So after I wash my face, 
Um, I put this eye cream on and it just refreshes like underneath my eyes. So all you do is you pop it open like that and then you just push and then it comes out the tip and I actually use a little ball to blend it in with or I'll use my finger of course. But I really, really have been loving this product. I feel like I've been super hydrated. It's an all around really good eye cream and I've been loving it. I think you guys should definitely try it. It's from Clinique and it's the Pep Start Eye Cream. It kind of just reminds me of like an orange creamsicle. Another guy that I have been really, really enjoying lately is this Cover FX, uh, my custom infusion drop. So they have a whole bunch of different ones, but mine is specifically for radiance. They have ones for calming, they have ones for uh, hydrating and stuff like that. But this one is the C plus lemongrass um, for radiance. So I have been dropping this into my foundation. Um, if I'm using a beauty blender, I will put my foundation on the back of my hand drop a couple of these drops onto it and then just use my beauty blender. If I'm using my brush, then I'll just drop it directly into my brush because I really like the way that it applies that way. But yeah, it works well with any foundation that I've used recently. So yeah, I would definitely consider giving this one a try. I love the smell of it too. It almost feels like you're like at a spa or something. So I don't know why I said spa like that. So another product that I have been enjoying is this matte lipstick and it is in uh, the color Please Me and it's a beautiful shade pink and it's a matte shade that they have. I don't know, I've never really been like a color person when it comes to lipsticks but lately I have. This is this color right here. It is beautiful and it stays on forever, hence it being a matte lipstick. But yeah, I've been really loving this one. Also, I finally got my hands on this brow definer and I have been using this for a, the last, I would say, few weeks or so, maybe the last two weeks. I didn't really mention it or use it in any of my tutorials lately because I kind of like to use it first before I start putting it on camera because I don't want you guys to like go out and buy these products that I'm using or that I'm wrecking, wrecking, that I'm recommending for you without me actually saying like, yeah, you should go get this. So I've given it a whirl a couple of times already and I have been really liking it. I definitely recommend it for you. I'm using the shade Medium Brown in the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brown Definer. All right, so I'm gonna just, let me just tell you guys about this. I am not a really big fan of mascara. Like I've had mascaras, I've just never used them. If I do, I only use them to like apply like my false lashes on top of. I've been wearing false lashes a lot, like maybe for the like the last three, four months, almost every single day because I love the way that they look. They're so easy. I just throw on a band and I'm like good to go out the door. But that was until I found this mascara. So this is the Marc Jacobs and this is their new um, mascara, the Velvet Noir. Oh! It is freaking amazing, you guys. I know that there's no fibers in it, but it almost feels like there is. The very first layer that I put on, mind you guys, I have stubs for lashes, so it really takes a good mascara to do my lashes wonders. But this Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir mascara is the shit. Like, I'm sorry, excuse my French, the fing shit. So I put on one coat and it literally instantly like lifts your lashes and gives them a boost of volume, a boost of curl, and just an all around really good mascara. I'm actually not wearing any false lashes today. It's been like the first time in, I would say a good couple weeks that I haven't worn false lashes, but let me just show you guys real quick. Get a real close up of these bad boys. Drink break. So I showed you guys my favorite like makeup products and my favorite candle that I've been loving for the month. But also I kind of wanted to share with you guys like my favorite places that I've been to this month or this past February. Um, and just like places that I have really enjoyed, maybe things that I really enjoy. Speaking of which, I love this casino. It is one of my favorite casinos in Vegas. So if you're ever in the Henderson area, come check out Green Valley Ranch. It's actually one of my favorites. I always win here. This is where me and Derek always gamble. So cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Another place that I've really enjoyed lately is Grimaldi's. You guys, literally, I can't even lie to you, I go there at least once a week. Like, people that know me know I go at least once a week. But if you guys have a Grimaldi's in your area, go get the Caesar salad and get a pepperoni pizza 
with extra cheese and crispy. So every Friday of the last, probably all of February, we went to Grimaldi's and they have them all over Vegas. So we've actually gone to almost every single one in Vegas, but it is wonderful. The food is amazing. The service at every restaurant I've ever been to is really good. So I would definitely recommend you guys going to check that out. So my favorite, I would say songs right now, I am in love with the Rihanna song. So instead of playing it for you guys, I just thought I would like, I don't know, like kind of give you guys some entertainment. And another favorite song of mine is, don't you open up that window. Don't you let ah! ah! And another favorite song of mine is Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Your breast is white too high, you need to cut it. So that is a couple of my favorite things from the month of February. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below. Let me know down below. And also, I wanted to mention, I get a lot of you guys asking me like in the comments what my information is. I'm just going to let you guys know right here. So you can find me at... Instagram, Lisette Cornejo. You can find me on Snapchat under Lisette55. And of course, Facebook, just look me up under Lisette Cornejo. Also, another thing that I wanted to kind of discuss before I go, just go ahead and start tagging your favorite brands on my Instagram so that people, I guess, can see that you guys are interested and kind of want to do a meet and greet. And maybe, you know, maybe we can get their attention and maybe get them to reach out to me so that we can make something like that happen for you guys because I would love a chance to meet you guys and I think it would just be awesome. So yeah, anyway, so that is it for my February favorites. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for my next video and until then, I will see you guys soon. Mwah.